Hey, what's up everybody? So today we have a very, very special guest. So go ahead and tell them who you are. Hey, hello. Um, my name is Gulia. I'm from Turkmenistan. Say that again slower because they may not have heard it. Where are you from? Turkmenistan. <laughs> Turkmenistan. Yes. So this is the first person I've ever met from Turkmenistan. Yeah. I'm guessing if you're listening to this video right now, you've never met anyone from Turkmenistan either. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about Turkmenistan. Okay. Um, I'm studying normally in Turkey, but uh, I live in Turkmenistan. Um, and they're different countries. It's not yes, the same country. Yes, it's Turkey central, and Turkmenistan are different. different. It's different. Turkmenistan is located in Central Asian Turkish country. So, presidential system. Um, uh, the population is around uh, 6 million. So, Ashgabat is the capital of Turkmenistan. Is that where you're from? Or are you from the capital? And uh, No, no. I am from the east part. From the eastern part, all right. So yes. you're from a small village or a small town or what? Uh, I'm from city town. <laughs> Medium Turkmenab size. So Turkmenabad. Turkmenabad, okay. Yes. Never heard of that one either. <laughs> all right, so uh, do you have a big family? Many brothers and sisters? Um, or yeah, No, very big. It's normal. I have two sisters, one brother, and mother, father. I okay. have six persons. Good yeah, size family. Yeah, well. <laughs> so the question everyone wants to know is what brings you to Poland? Why are you here? Okay, I'm here in Poland uh, for Erasmus. Okay. Exchange program. Yes, yeah, so if you don't know what Erasmus is, it's a student exchange program that they have in the European Union and yeah. most of Europe. A lot of Americans probably don't know about it, um, yeah. but it's very uh, well known over here. Yes, uh, we have an uh, agreement with the European Union Commission, our university, and uh, for Erasmus we will need to go to exam, pass, after they invite us some of the university in the European Union, and uh, I won, uh, and I passed this exam, and I came to Poland. So you were really smart? Yes, very. Okay. <laughs> okay. But it is very good chance. Uh, who who found this program is a very interesting program. The normally my English not very good. They give us money for study, give opportunity for um, um, develop our English language skills. So what is your study? Like what is your uh, field of study? What do you focus on? Um, my study? Yeah, what is, what is your major? Uh, my major is uh, political science and public administration, but here I am studying the Faculty of Economy and Sociology. Okay. Yeah. And what are your uh, future plans with this? Uh, so, future plans uh, now I firstly develop my English skills, and uh, after I have one more year in graduation, that's why I'm not planning the future plans. Uh, I want to uh, find good job in my country, return to country. Yeah. You have really good English skills, so tell me how yeah. how you got to this point with your English, because you were telling me earlier about it. Um, no, the, before uh, when I came here, uh, I don't have very good English, like level A, A1, uh, but here the, it's, uh, I think, going to up uh, as uh, my language is uh, developing. I know uh, now understand that when uh, I'm talking to other pe persons, peoples, before it was really, really different from difficult for me. Now it's helped me. <laughs> okay, so you've improved your English skills by being in Poland. Um, yes, but uh, in Poland, the more persons uh, don't speak uh, English very well, but our courses. Uh, uh, and the teachers all speak uh, on in English. That's why it's help. And you meet new people, uh, you find uh, new friends, and it's helping. I think. Okay. Uh, <laughs> talking. <laughs> and have, have you learned any Polish since you've been here? Can you say yes, a few things yeah, for us? Yes, some some words. Why not? The okay. Always persons uh, speak Polish. That's why. How do I say hello in Polish? Um, dobry. Slower, say it again. Vidin <laughs> dobry. 
Jen Dobry. Jen Dobry. It's yes. hello. Okay. Yes. How do I say thank you? Um, dziękuję bardzo. Dziękuję bardzo. Bardzo. <laughs> okay. That's a long word. That's a mouthful to say. Yes, it is a little bit dif different language. How about see you tomorrow? Uh, I don't know. That's too advanced. Where okay. <laughs> you didn't get that far. I know only talk. Yes. Talk is yes. Yeah. I got that. I got that. That's short. Yeah. No. Yes, no. I got that as well. That's very short. I can remember that. But the other stuff is it's challenging. Yedan is one. What does that mean? Yedan. Oh, Yedan is one. Well, yes, yeah, okay. So, in your country, Turkmenistan, yeah. that's your country, what would people say if I went there? Because, you know, I'm, I've got dark skin, I'm a black guy. Do they have black people there or um, would it be very rare? Would people stare at me? Uh, in my con own country, Turkmenistan? Yes, in Turkmenistan, not in Poland, in Turkmenistan. Uh, the, the, for, for us, the all black or white doesn't matter. We are all humans. That's why it's no problem. Ever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah. But I know like here, for example, I mean, people definitely pay more attention to me. No, not only you. There are... Uh, don't like more personal uh, international foreign people is problem the problem that not all the people is the um, 50 percent yes they're not used to it yeah yeah they don't like the foreign persons when you uh, somewhere going to ask something their answer very um, loudly and uh, oh, it's okay yeah but I think can... it's that not all persons the same good people's ideas everywhere bad persons yes ideas. exactly yes. i've been saying that for a while <laughs> and it's it because it's true you know yeah, it's something yeah. that's like a cliche to say but you see it every day you know you've got some people on one side and you got some people on the other side so yes yes you can't really paint everybody with the same brush yeah because it's just not accurate yeah <laughs> <laughs> and where do they think you're from because if i saw you yeah and you were in america yeah. I would not guess, oh, she's from Turkmenistan, because first off, I don't know where Turkmenistan yeah, is. Yeah, it's normal. I would think <laughs> you're probably, don't get mad when I say this. No problem. But I would probably think you were Korean. Oh, yeah. If I saw you, because you have Korean yes. features, <laughs> yes. very similar features. Yeah, it is not you, the first time I heard about you, that all persons never think that I'm from Turkmenistan. Yeah, I didn't heard in Turkey too, in... Uh, other countries in Poland too, the everyone, the, are you Kazakh, are you the Japan or Korea? <laughs> For me it's not new, that's why. So you're just used to telling people, no, 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 no. <laughs> Sometimes I say, okay, yes, I am from Japan. <laughs> yeah, it's funny how that happens. Yeah. So I, I, I don't get <laughs> the same exact countries as you, but I sometimes get, oh, are you from, uh, I get like, are you from like West Africa or yeah. are you from uh, like Cuba a lot of times they're like yes. are you Cuban or you Brazilian or something like that so I'm always like no I'm American no I'm American yes so. but uh, in uh, your um, how can I say I don't know ancient uh, the your heritage um, like yes, ancestry heritage, ancestry, ancestry uh, from America Africa maybe a long time ago though yeah but it's also um, I'm not 100% African so I have, you know, great, 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 great grandparents yeah, yeah. who obviously they came from Africa, but I also have uh, great, great grandparents who came from Europe mm -hmm. and who came from other places. So it's not just like I'm 100 percent one thing. But yes, definitely I'm majority African and I'm proud of that, you know, so, yeah. so don't try to eat me alive in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> 100 percent proud of that. But uh, as far as culture and heritage, you know, there's a difference. And you have to sometimes explain that to people because, you know, if you go just off appearance, I would look at you and I think Korean. <laughs> and just off appearance, they would look at me and they think, you know, Brazil or Cuba or whatever other country other than where I'm actually from. So it's just, I, yeah, you know, I you didn't. just clarify <laughs> where you're coming from. Uh, not that it really makes a difference, but, you know, they see you in a different way and you know how that works. Maybe our ancestors are from Mongolia. Sure. 
Yeah, Genghis Khan. <laughs> Genghis Khan, yeah. <laughs> he traveled everywhere and he left yeah, he left babies like in every city. So probably <laughs> he has some ancestry way back in Mongolia. Our history, uh, territory always was the occupied some uh, parts of Khanate like the big, different tribes, different right? Tribes. They would always come yes, in. So it's a big why mix, it's right? Me cause yeah, <laughs> you have a lot of variety. Yeah, yeah. and us too. Uh, being a Black American, yeah. you have many different uh, skin colors. Not everyone is dark. Some people are lighter. Some some are much darker than me. Some are much lighter than me. Uh, some have really big noses. Some have small mm -hmm. noses. So it's just a lot of uh, variety and mixture, which is beautiful. You know. Yeah.